Welcome back. It is Thursday here on the 7 on 8, which of course is time to ask Ellen. Each week we take a viewer a question about the weather <laughs> and she does a deep dive to explain the science behind her job. Yes. This question comes from Naomi. She wants to know if there's an official description of sugar snow. She thought it was the sort of snow that is less like flakes and more like the little tiny white stuff. But her friends out east said that it was those stuck together globs of flakes. So Ellen? This is the first I'm even hearing of this term. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have to tell you, I learned something on this one while yeah. I started to research it. So let's go ahead and break down sugar snow and then what I think Naomi thinks mm -hmm. sugar snow might be. So let's just start with sugar snow. Sugar snow is the type of snow that we often see uh, when we get those uh, tinier snow grains that stack up quite a bit on snowpack. So if we look at what sugar snow is graphically, we can see that it's a heavy snow and that's uh, usually something that helps to insulate some of the trees on the ground. So what's interesting is, is this actually relates to sugar maples. Mm. So when you get a heavy spring snow, spring especially, what the spring snow will do is it'll help to keep the ground from deep freezing and it will also allow the roots to grab moisture from deeper down. So because the snow helps to insulate a bit, it actually helps the roots grab more water to create more sap. And the other thing that snowpack does, the sugar snow, is it helps to keep the woods cooler, which delays leafing. So sugar snow actually has to do with sugar maples and sugar maple season, especially in the spring. It's a nice snowpack on the ground. So what I think Naomi is thinking of is powder snow. Mm. And so sometimes powder snow can be called sugar snow by a winter weather recreationalist, but this is the dry, fluffy stuff. Super dry, often makes for excellent skiing and snowboarding. And unfortunately, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, if you fall into it, it thickens like cement because there's nothing to pack and push yourself out. Okay. So especially avalanches with the powder snow, it can be rough. And I know this because I've fallen into a bank of powder snow and you oh, literally cannot that's, get up. That hurts. <laughs> I've only been on a snowboard once and as we know and have discussed, it didn't go well. So Yeah, but I hope you had the <laughs> smile on your face the entire time. Of course time. I did. So yeah, sugar snow relates to the maples. Powder snow relates to skiing, snowboarding. And of course, if you want to submit a question for this segment, you can email it in to the 7on8 at woodtv.com.